guys, today's video is going to be my BoxyCharm unboxing for the month of January. Now this month the theme is all about a fresh start and I think that's so cute because I feel like you know 2021, 2020 was a rough year and um, so I'm guessing it's very like you know fresh start, new beginnings which is what a new year is all about and I noticed that this um, theme too was a lot of like earthy things like I'll share it with you guys what I got but it seems very like earthy very like earth like I don't know if they were going for that theme so let's just dive right into the box the first thing I did notice that I got is this Seraphine Botanicals Apple and Balm Glow Lip Mask so this is an overnight mask that you should be using at bedtime, but I'm going to apply it now as my as I do my makeup just so that my lips can be hydrated. So this is what it looks like. It's a little like squeezy tube and it says it's apple and bomb flavor. Mm. It smells like apples. It smells really good. So I'm just gonna take this and apply it on my lips. And even though it's a overnight lip mask, I'm just gonna use it now as I, you know, do my makeup. It tastes pretty good too. It does say that it has apricot, jojoba, rose hip oils, and it also has green apple, pineapple extract. It also has shea butter, and I love me some shea butter and jojoba. But it feels really nice on the lips, and um, it just smells so good. The next thing that I did get in the box is this Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil Free Gel Moisturizer with Moringa and Papaya. I honestly don't know how I feel about Pharmacy because I did hear that their um, the, the makeup removing balm had plastic in it and that is not okay with me. So I'm not sure about what these in like what the ingredients are. I don't think Skincare by Harm is a big fan of Pharmacy. But I'm going to apply this moisturizer. Um, they say it's uh, oil-free and it's a gel-like moisturizer. It smells it smells pretty good. I don't know how I feel about it having moringa and papaya. I, I don't like to use products on my face that say they have like fruits in it or like, I don't know, I just never felt that was right. But my face is clean. Um, I'm just going to apply this moisturizer and it's pretty nice it feels good I don't know if I would use it on a daily basis because I'm so scared I'm scared of pharmacy I don't know I just am afraid of the brand because ever since like that plastic situation with that removing balm happened I just don't know how I feel about pharmacy but this feels pretty nice on the skin um, it is pretty hydrating. It's very lightweight, but it's still it's a gel moisturizer So it is more lightweight, but it's still pretty like moisturizing like, my skin Feels super moisturized and my, my skin feels pretty fresh like I don't know I feel like maybe it's the moringa in it the plant the moringa plant But my skin feels like very like open and like there's like air coming in like it feels very airy and just really fresh Like it woke up my skin so I do like that about it. I just don't know the long-term effects of it. The next thing that I got in the box is this Violet Vos Olive You Forever Eyeshadow Palette. When I opened this, because I did open it before I uh, filmed the video, I fell in love with these colors. Like these colors are so pretty, you guys. Like you get this, it's a olive-y type of palette. Such a beautiful color story. Like I really am tempted to do like an olive green look today. So I'm just gonna use this palette and I'm gonna obviously zoom you guys in and fast forward this part.
up my eyes. But I really do like this eyeshadow that I use, the palette from Violet Voss. These colors are super, super easy to work with. They are very powdery, so you know if you ever want to purchase this palette or you know get it if you get it in your box, just be aware that it is powdery because there's a lot of kick up when you do dip your brush in the shadow. You'll get a lot of kick up. But these blend really, really easily, and they're so pretty. And I just love this olive green that I used on my lid. It is such a beautiful color. Let's move on to the other product I got. So I also got this Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer, and mine's in the shade DG6. Now, about complexion products. I'm always skeptical of getting complexion products in BoxyCharm because I feel like they cannot match my skin. So let's just, let me just swatch this on the back of my hand to see how it looks. Even though I don't typically swatch um, makeup on the back of my hand but yeah that's pretty light like even just by I can sometimes sense you know if something's gonna work for me by the way it runs and this is running a little bit light so I'm scared of using this on my face but for the sake of the video I will use it on my face even though I typically would not use it on my face um, so I'm going to prime my skin first. So I wonder why it's called 4-in-1. It says that it, oh, I think it has SPF. Yes, it does. It has SPF 20 in it. I wonder if I should um, wear a primer with it. You know, I'm just going to wear a primer with it because it says 4-in-1. So I'm wondering, is there a primer involved in this? Why is it called 4-in-1? But I'm just going to put a primer on and then I will apply this on my skin. I'm gonna use my Love is the Foundation brush to apply this and let's see if it works. So this is one layer on the side of my um, cheeks and I do like how it covered that cluster of dark spots that I do have along my jawline it's pretty good because I mean if you look at this side of my face this is it with the tinted moisturizer this is my skin without anything so the match is actually not bad so I think it's a pretty light layer I think it adjusts to your skin it's one of those I think it's one of those products that acclimates to your skin tone as long as you're like in that range like I mean, I don't know, maybe it could have more of a golden undertone because I, when I put it in the back of my hand, I did think it was going to be too light. But I think it's such a light coverage that it's not going to be like too red or it's not going to um, run orange or anything because it looks pretty good. It's it's pretty natural. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's not like a, it's not as much coverage as the e.l.f. CC cream I will say and it does look a little light on my nose and my forehead because my forehead is a is um, Darker my forehead is a little bit more red so Yeah, as you can see like my forehead area This is where it's looking a little more gray, but I do feel like my forehead Looks a little gray, so I am gonna have to fix that with bronzer and just add the warmth back. Um, I feel like I'm looking a little odd. Is it me or is it me? I'll be right back. I'm gonna bronze up my skin and I'm gonna do the rest of my face so that I can show you guys the last item that I got in the box. Okay, so I'm back with my makeup done. I just added like a wing here on with the eyeshadow and then I put bronzer on my forehead and then I lined my lips. I mean, I, everything I um, did was just what I normally do with my makeup. I feel like my skin got used to the tinted moisturizer. I still feel like my forehead looks a little odd, but for the most part, I really do like the look I created. I think my wing is a little too like straight, a little too straight, but it's okay. Um, so the last thing that I did get in the box is this right here. This is a lip gloss by Trust Fun Beauty, and then this is the Lip Gasm Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Unprofessional. All right, so I did line my lips with this right here. This is by Buxom. This is the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner and Undercover. And this unprofessional color is more of like a corally pink color. I don't know if it'll go with the eye, but I'm just gonna use it. I 
I like this color. It's actually really pretty. It doesn't really go with the eye look that I created because I did like more of an olive green eye look. I would have done like a nude lip with this, but this is really pretty. It's very beautiful and it's very non-sticky. I just realized that this lip gloss, it's not sticky at all. So it's a nice lip gloss. But yeah, guys, this is what I got for this month's boxy charm. I really liked everything that I got. Um, Everything was really nice. There's not one thing that I didn't really like. The only thing I'm scared of is the pharmacy moisturizer. But I'm going to do more research on it to see if it's safe to use on my skin. The overall value for this month is 150 zolas. So you get the box for, I pay $26 a month for it. It is so worth it, especially if you are into makeup and if you love trying new makeup and skincare, I would definitely recommend BoxyCharm. So yeah, I really, really did like this month's box. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys like BoxyCharm unboxing. And let me know if you have BoxyCharm, what did you get, or if you're thinking of trying BoxyCharm. Well, thank you again for watching, and please subscribe if you are not, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.